Unicorns and glitter and taxidermy critters are just some of the things they like. They also enjoy 80s hair bands, Grizzly Adams and John Goodman, so if you think that's weird then you can take a hike. But the things they enjoy the most are making art and cracking jokes. So without further ado, here are your hosts. You've got your two artsy gals, your two artsy gals. Here are your two artsy gals. Hey everybody, this is Katie. And this is Lonnie. And you are listening to Two Artsy Gals. Yay! Yay! We are recording with our brand new recording equipment it's for the so first cool. time. I, know. I feel like we're all official and awesome. And stuff. Yeah, I like it. I like this setup. We're sitting across from each other with our crazy microphones and all our big cool stuff. So hopefully you guys notice the difference. And yeah. you think it's as awesome as we do. I bet they do. I bet they're like, they sound like angels. Oh. Man, I wish <laughs> that was you fucking harmonized. Yeah. We have to start a band <laughs> with me, I'm telling you. That was sweet. I can't wait to hear that later. I know. <laughs> so, let's see. For, do we have announcements? We do. Oh, dude, seriously, you guys. We have a giveaway going on. We do. Y'all know it. And... It was fucking awesome. In, like, the first few days, we went from, like, 74 likes on Facebook to 122. Yay! But we totes stalled out. And we're super excited to have a whole bunch of new people on board. Mm-hmm. It's great. But our goal is 20, or 20. Our goal is 200. <laughs> and when we reach 200, then we're going to, like, you know, you guys are going to get an awesome mixed media art collaboration that Lonnie and I work on. We've got some ideas. We're talking about doing some, like incorporating some hand embroidery and painting on like a hoop and yeah and it's gonna be cool like a big hoop we should get yeah a big hoop we should then nice we can size. yeah and do some like yeah money i'll do some of our turkey work yeah i love to yeah i'll do some turkey work for you we should do a sasquatch that's what i want to <gasps> do for yours dude <laughs> don't steal my idea okay no i won't but for the giveaway though yeah we should do we a, should do like a yeah like, like a, a sasquatch. dark sasquatch theme yeah yeah. We like dark stuff. <laughs> do, do you ever watch uh, uh, the Trailer Park Boys? No. Maybe. Dude, do you have Netflix? Uh, yeah. You should be watching the Trailer Park Boys okay. from beginning to end. Okay. Bubbles calls Sasquatches Sam Squanches, and he's like, those <laughs> damn dirty Sam Squanches. It is the funniest fucking show ever. Awesome. I will check I it out. I'm watching it. My Canadian friends turned me on to so it. So that might ins- further inspire our collaborative work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm in a trailer park, and now I'm having visions of this little trailer with like little beer cans in the yard. Oh, and we could do some <laughs> of the foil. We could do the foil tape thing for the uh, oh, side of the trailer. See oh, that, you guys? Okay. Our brains are going. Oh, this is gonna be rad. It's I'm gonna want to awesome. keep it. Be like, Sorry, I think guys. all of our my art usually has either like a funny bent going on through it, like comedy, or something dark and weird. Yeah. That. I this, love it. Now I'm, now I'm <laughs> I know, seeing Lottie, it. I'm, I'm seeing it. Like, you can see the wheels so good. I'm sorry. That was head. loud. That was really loud. That's okay. Whoa. <laughs> no Holy clapping shit. the microphone. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? I was thinking. Yeah, what? I clapped. Okay. Like a, I'm still learning to use all this equipment, so it might... <laughs> Like, thankfully, Lonnie was in a band, so she kind of knows <laughs> sure. stuff on the mixer. You know more than I do. I hope no one I was in a band with is listening, because they'll be laughing their butts well, off right now. I know zero. <laughs> I know that gain means that your voice gets louder when you turn yeah. it up, and yeah. it gets quieter when you turn it down. And that's all I know. And I know, <laughs> that, like, the mix, like, we want it, both of ours, like, the same in the yeah. thingy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The thingy is a very technical it is. terminology. And I was just the I realized I think the reason you set it up this way is so I stop hitting you every time I get excited. No, about I something. like it when you hit me. But Lonnie does. She like fucking reach out and slap you when she's excited about something. She's scared it's the much shit safer out of me. this way. It's it is. much safer. Also, I'm a hand talker and sometimes I get like <laughs> I'll smack a person. Like, when I was in Italy, I fit right in, because those motherfuckers are the handsiest talking people I've ever been around in my life. They're nice. like, they're all the gesticulating, like, blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah, and you're like, whoa, you're ducking and bobbing and weaving and stuff to get away from them, because, 
They talk with their hands a little bit. It's cray cray. It's a three dimensional conversation. It is a three dimensional <laughs> conversation. So yeah, the giveaway people. We need to get to two hundred likes yeah. on the Facebooks. Now, so you should like us. And you should because now the thing I'm seeing in my mind that you're gonna get is gonna be freaking um, rad. Epically awesome. Yes. Also, can I just fucking talk about Twitter for a second? Okay, I I've been tweeting. I've been working at it. You I've been such tweeting a good funny job. things. I'm trying to like do different things on our Instagram and different things on our Facebook and different things on Pinterest and different things on on the Twitter. And I've been tweeting. And look, people, I have a hard time tweeting because you know I do not like being limited to a certain amount of characters because <laughs> I'm a talky person. <laughs> However, never I tweeted. tweeted that funny thing that you said when we were making beads earlier in the week when you yeah. said, I don't like this bead. It looks like a dirty tampon. Because <laughs> it was fucking hilarious and it totally did look like a dirty <laughs> tampon. But look, if you want some funny shit and some pictures and stuff, Follow us on Twitter. I just noticed I've been tweeting to one fucking person. <laughs> we have one Twitter follower. But you know what this means? That means this means I might actually have to start using Twitter, and I never use some fucking Twitter. I yeah. never did Twitter. embrace the social media. I feel like oh yeah, but okay, I will try. I embrace will. it. I can do it, and you guys should too. <laughs> do it. <laughs> so let me see. I wonder if Sasquatch is on there yet. I wonder if Sasquatch ever tweets. I'm going to look for Sasquatch now, because like, I fucking, look, I'm obsessed with that shit, mm-hmm. and I don't care. I don't believe in the, all right, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> listeners, but I just don't believe in God. It's okay. I'm coming out. <laughs> I went to see Richard Dawkins. Yeah. And he, and he said we should come out. Yeah. As, what did he call us? Secular or something. Secular, I, yeah. I didn't listen. I had a drink before he started talking. So. <laughs> it was good, though, but I do believe in fucking Sasquatch. And the goddamn Loch Ness Monster. So fuck you guys if you don't. Okay. It's the same. Dude, my husband saw a Sasquatch. Own. Seriously. For real. When he was in, when he talks about it, still he gets goose pimples and his hair stands on his arm. When they were camping, him and his buddy <laughs> snuck out of their tent to go steal beer from neighboring campsites. And he, Sasquatch ran across the street and they ran all the way back to their campsite and dove in the fucking tent and pulled the sleeping bags over their head and laid there until they fell asleep. They were terrified. Oh, my God. That's and the they best. were like teenagers. It's the best beer security ever. Right? Yeah. Sasquatch is not going to let you We used to fucking the yogi the shit out of some beer when I was a kid. Like, my grandparents lived in Barbie Park in on the coast. Yeah. On the Oregon coast. So we would walk down there. Sorry, relatives. I'm 40 or <laughs> two years old now. We can all, this can all come out. Y'all knew we were doing it anyway. We'd sneak out of grandma and grandpa's house and go down and yogi people's coolers at night. <laughs> it was good times. That is, yeah. We almost got got a couple times. We're like, but, gosh, these raccoons really. But like the really beer. bad thing is, my dad worked there. So if we would have gotten caught, it would have been like bad. Yeah. Would have been like those Bradley kids. You've been in the local paper, right? It probably would have. Yeah. Because we, we got called the Bratleys instead of the Bradleys anyway. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, we should totally get on with things. Um, mm-hmm. One more thing I just wanted to remind people about. Like, we got the new logo going. Y'all seen it now? It's great. And we have the new le- newsletter. Yep. So if you want to be, you want to receive our newsletter, you can sign up through that through our Facebook page. There's a sign up button. Or you can sign up on our um, blog. That's where you go, our <laughs> website, and you can also get our newsletter there. So just look for those things. But today, I'm pretty excited about what we're talking about today. What is it? We're talking about beads, Ooh, like cool. making them specifically. Yeah. So I see a lot of beautiful examples right in front of me. I know, because we robbed some bead making. I think I'll take a picture so that we can put it up so you can see it, too. Yeah. Oh, take a picture into our bowl of handmade beads that we made, yeah, too. Yeah, our new be setup. So before we get really specifically into making beads, I wanted to go over just the kinds of beads, different kinds of beads there are. Because, you know, beads are cool. So you have your glass beads, which I which I love. I get all like... Oh, mm, I love glass bead beads too, yeah. So you have your seed beads, which are the little teeny, tiny, tiny round glass beads. Mm-hmm. They're the itsy bitsy ones. They are used a lot in jewelry making, and they also use them in, like, that bead work that people do. Yeah, that amazes me. That I would go blind doing. Yeah, yes. My friend's mom does a lot of that, and I don't know how she still has her eyesight after yeah. so many years of doing that shit. But it can be so beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah. nuts. It's out yeah. of control. And then you have uh, bugle beads, which are skinny tube beads. 
they're also made of glass. They can be made of metal. They can be made of wood, but it's just the shape. They're like, they're mostly glass though. Just like, you know, the skinny, like they look almost like a CD that stretched out. Yeah. Little yeah. skinny guys. Oh yeah. Okay. And you have crystal beads, which are like glass cut from faceted, like, you know, they're shiny. Sparkles. Yeah. They're <laughs> sparkles. Woo. And they can be teardrop shaped. They can be round. They can be flat backs that you set in like cabochons or something like that. They can be have holes in the middle of them. They can be a lot of things. Um, lamp work glass beads are my favorites. What are they're those? those ones that they look kind of like the Fimo keep clay beads that we made. They're like, oh, okay. they're round usually. And they have like all the different, like they have little flowers in them sometimes. Oh yes. Or, okay. Yeah. I love those so much. Yeah. And I used to, those are usually the most expensive beads Yeah. in like the bead store. What was the name of the bead store on Hawthorne? I don't know if it's still there. Was it Dava oh. beads or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I have, I saved my receipts for so many years because it used to be that like, I don't, is that still there? I don't think so. I don't so. think it is no. anymore either, mm-hmm. but you, if you spent like a hundred dollars, you got like a certain amount of free beads. So I saved all my beads in nice. this little box. And then when I went in there and they said, oh no, they, they have to be within the same calendar year. Aww. Cause it took me years. Cause I can't afford to buy fucking beads all yeah. the time. So yeah. yeah. I also like, uh, my mom's friend made these hand blown beads oh. and I got the most awesome necklace from her that I loved so pretty it was like a cobalt speaking of hand blown just putting this out there yeah. in the fall Lonnie and I have an opportunity to go watch my nephew he is a glass blower and he's learning so cool. he's an apprentice but he's going to give us a lesson we'll have to go to Salem to his shop and then he's going to come back here with us and he's going to do an interview with us nice. but I'm trying to hound him because he makes pipes that's what he knows how to do. Yeah. That's what he's learning how to do. Yeah. But I said, you, should, you could learn to do some beads and stuff. So he's going to try to learn to do some stuff that we oh, could do wow. like easily mm-hmm. and show us how to do it. So I should throw some glass beads out there at him. Mm-hmm. Like glass beads, yo. Come on. You know throw you some wanna. glass beads at yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> do it. Do it. I'm going to throw these at you until you make me more. more. And then you also have like wooden beads, ceramic beads, clay beads, plastic beads, metal beads. You can make beads out of everything. You can. It's... Beads. But Bonnie <laughs> and I found some interesting things to make beads out of. Yes. We did. We had so much fun that day. It was yeah. rad. I think the first thing, the first ones that we worked on were beads made out of two liter plastic bottles. Yes. I'm trying to dig them out I know. When she said beads out of plastic bottles, I was like, what? And listen... Listen to how lovely they sound. They do. Yeah. If you're They're one awesome. of those ASMR people or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of have that a little bit about certain sounds. Yeah. But just certain sounds. Yeah, it's not as intense then as Then I have the opposite of I mean, it with other sounds. What's that thing called when you dis- dysphonia or something like oh, that? Oh, yes. Like, I have that really bad about a few cringe. sounds. Like, I can't stand the sound of people rubbing their hands on denim, like their denim jeans. Oh. It physically makes my teeth hurt. Wow. Like it, I'll have to be conscious of it, that. I hate I it. Especially if your hands are like super dry. Oh, yeah. And then you rub them on the dead. I, it makes my teeth hurt. It like, I cannot fucking stand that wow. sound. It makes okay, me want I'll to, to murder that. people. <laughs> also, chewing with your mouth open is yeah. a big thing. But anyway, back to these awesome beads. So yeah. I found this video of this little girl. Well, I don't know how little she was because I couldn't see her because she just did a tutorial video. But I also saw... A few of them. Um, so basically, you just get a two liter bottle and you cut the top and bottom off and split up the side, and then you cut around and you make long strips of this plastic. You get, wash it out so it's not sticky. Yeah. Like I made Lonnie buy, because I don't really drink pop unless I put any booze in it and I don't drink during the day. And Lonnie doesn't drink pop, so I'm like, Lonnie, can you stop and buy a two liter bottle of soda that we can dump out when you get here? And she's like, um, okay. <laughs> We're going to make beads out of it. And she's like, whatever. Like, I was kind of <laughs> like, a weirdo. What? So, but yeah, I we dumped Very out a neat. thing of like, what was it? You got like that high C stress punch. Tiki punch oh, punch or something? Tiki punch shit. It had a crazy guy it on there. It turned my sink red when I dumped it out. Like, ugh. <laughs> I, I mean, should have picked it out, or so but I was like, whoa. Ooh, imagine Can you imagine what, what your innards look like? Yeah. Like, like, like a dyed intestines. Gross. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sorry, Lonnie and I are drinking iced tea because it's fucking hot as hell today. It's really good. It's delish. 
Anyway, you take your plastic strips and you color them with like permanent marker. So I used Sharpie at we used Sharpie and you just color design. I found that like putting the ones that I didn't color solidly. Yeah. They yeah. made dots and stars and stuff. I, I actually like, liked better. Yeah, I do too. I think they're cute. I think it makes them look more glassy. Yeah, it does. It looks like glass once they're all yeah. curled up and melty. So you take your little skinny like needle nose pliers. And then you pinch one end and you roll it around really tightly around the pliers. And then you kind of open them up and grab the other end. So you're holding all this little rolled up piece of plastic. And then you hit it with a heat gun and you melt that shit. Yep. And it makes these cool little beads. I also think I found the ones listen, that we these made. these are like made out of a plastic bottle, but they have, yeah, they're they like. they do have that like little. Cool sound. Yeah. Too. And I think the thinner, for me, the thinner the plastic like, the narrower you make the strip, the better they look. Don't you think yeah. that? Yeah, yes, yeah. I don't like the fat ones. I don't like yeah. as much. Yeah, The little ones turned out pretty cool, though. Yeah, like those are neat. Them. We did find some of the edges are sharp, so you might want to, I don't maybe possibly round the edges when you, before you start melting them, just kind of, like, yeah, curve round them off the, the final end. with your scissors. Yeah, and then yeah. Also, a couple of mine, I noticed the end curled up, and I just hit it with the heat gun again. And mm-hmm. kind of push it down with my thumb. I think maybe a file, hitting that with a little file, too, yeah, would probably make yeah. it not as sharp. I mean, they're not, like, they're not going to cut you open, but it wouldn't feel nice. Like, if you wore it against your skin. Yeah, on I a think necklace, it would be, it'd be like, oh, yeah. But they turned out really cute, though. They and we're really going to have tons of pictures. I'm going to put these on our Pinterest and on some pictures on our, uh, our blog. So you can see what we're talking about. But these turned out yeah. super cute. And we'll do, like, we took step-by-step pictures of most of me. these. And of your <laughs> There's another one for you. Since pile. they can't see it, they can hear it. They can hear it. <laughs> but um, <laughs> we were joking about making a necklace and giving it away of like all of our crazy oh, yeah. beads. I, I made forgot some about that. Really dorky cat ones that I forgot. Oh, you to forgot bring. to bring your beads. I know. You dork. Uh, You're such a dork. Bag. Bag. Okay, wait. What's the other one now that we? Do? Oh, the paper beads. Yeah. So we did some paper beads. Actually, do you want to talk about the Tyvek beads first since we did those together? Oh, yeah. So yes. we tried the Tyvek beads. I don't know if you remember Sharon and I did an episode about Tyvek. That's Here's the tampon, my tampon one. one. I saved it. But just to go over it really quickly because we talked about it in our last episode. But um, So you take your Tyvek, like your Tyvek mailer or whatever. Shh, I used a brand new one. I know I said not to she do that. She stole supplies from the I, post office. I didn't have. And a she used told one us handy. not to. I know. Gosh. Lonnie lectured me. She's like, Katie, <laughs> you told the listeners not to do that. I did. So you take it and you lay it out and you paint it with acrylic paint. And I, the key to this though, I think, is the metallic paint. Like, yeah, I have I some like really cool ones. top coats. They're my mm-hmm. favorite. They're um, made by Golden. And they're shimmering metallics, and they're called, like, interference blue, interference green, interference violet, I think, are the ones that I have. Yeah. My friend Alicia sold them to me at her yard sale. We painted some solid colors, and then we painted over it with metallics, like these top coats, and then got some gold and bronze mixed in there. Um, And then you wrap them around. Uh, We used chopsticks, because when I go out to Chinese food, I always steal chopsticks and bring them home. (laughs) I have this thing. I steal chopsticks. I steal coffee, wooden coffee stir sticks yeah, from the coffee oh, shop. Yeah, Like, I load my fuck. I have them. If you check all the pockets from, like, my winter coats, I'm sure that there are wooden sticks in them. Because yeah. Because it's habitual. <laughs> like, my mom told me to stop it because she works at Starbucks. And I was in the Starbucks that she works at. She's like, <laughs> stop. Put those back. I work here. Damn it. So, yeah, you paint them all up. And then you cut it in strips. And you wrap it around a chopstick and you stick a straight pin through it to hold it. Mm-hmm. And then some of them, I wrapped some metallic threads that I have on them. I think those ones turned out really cool. Yes. Uh, and then you hit it with a heat gun. Yep. And it melts it and it makes a cool fibery bead. Yeah. That is really... awesome. And this is what they sound like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Molly, you're killing me. I'm going to take a picture of you doing that. You probably can't even hear them. They're very quiet. They're, they are quiet, and they're very pretty. They are super pretty. <laughs> they're really great. <laughs> so weird. But they I'm turned sorry. out really nice. You're cracking me up. Like they did turn out cool. Uh, so I wouldn't want to wear these beads against I my know. skin. Yeah, they're a little rough. I think they would be neat on 
on a costume. Of some or kind. like if like, you were making some kind of crazy, like hangy scarf, and you crocheted yes, them into and your these work. On the ends would be. Oh, yeah, yeah. They like really strike me as fiber art beads. Mm-hmm. I have a couple of friends who make like, well, especially my one friend, Alicia, makes a lot of cuffs, and like kind of rough looking distressed cuffs Mm -hmm. and i actually really pictured these beads oh yeah i thought of her and her cuffs when i saw these Ooh, or that would be neat just on a bracelet in that direction like they're they're really cool beads though and again we'll have pictures of these up and i'm glad we got to try it because i i wanted to try them for the tyvek episode that we did but i didn't end up being able to do so so it was really neat to try it out. Yeah, that was fun. They were super fun. Yeah. Although, man, Lonnie and I were a wreck with the fucking heat gun. Like, oh, wait, I don't want to blow this towards you. I know. <laughs> oh, I'm melting all the other materials. Oh, we did melt some Sorry. plastic gun. Like, we were pointing it in the wrong direction and stuff was melting when we were aiming the heat gun. I'm like, oops, oh, well. Yeah. It was kind of funny. And so then we made... Now, I did one kind of paper bead... And Lonnie went home because we ran out of time. So Lonnie did the other kind of paper bead. Yes. But I did these ones. The lady on the video that um, I saw these, she called them European style. I don't exactly know what makes them European style. But they look they're like... they're so sophisticated. They are very sophisticated <laughs> That's beads. Mar, mar, mar. Yes. Um, they look like... Uh, what are those fucking things? The Pandora charms. And they sound like this. <laughs> Yes, they do. Lonnie, they do. You have to do that again. Look like the Pandora beads, which they look I didn't like know the about Pandora, until I, didn't, I don't told really. me. Okay. I just have to take a picture of Lonnie shaking things up. I'm going to Instagram that in a minute. But <laughs> Oh, gosh. But yeah, they look like the Pandora beads. I don't know. If you don't know what the fuck a Pandora bead is, look it up. Because Yeah, I didn't know. I had to explain it to my mom, but when I explained it to her, she's like, oh, because she loves that kind of shit. Like, Mm -hmm. she loves charms. I'm not a charm bracelet gal myself. I don't really, I don't actually wear a lot of jewelry. Like, I have jewelry that I put on when I go out and I wear it, but I'm not an everyday jewelry wearer, except for my piercing jewelry, like my septum and my lip. I used to be. I I used to be, too, but I don't know. Yeah. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Uh, my favorite necklace makes me break out. Aww. So I have to fucking do this. Just, Kurt calls it pot metal. Like, it's just like. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. crappy metal that it's made out of. So I get a uh, little rush. It's probably got nickel in it. I have a nickel yeah, in lead. No. That's, oh, God. I hope not. <laughs> I got lead poisoning when I was little. Oh, no. Like, we, so we used to live at a lighthouse. I lived in a lighthouse when I was a little girl. Not in the lighthouse, in the house next door to it. My dad was in the Coast Guard. And. The guys sandblasted the lighthouse, and they were trying to be nice, and they put it in a sandbox for me, which is silly because it was on a beach. Oh, my God. But it was like pain. I was having these awful headaches and diarrhea, and they couldn't figure out why. And I would go pick up little round, smooth rocks off the ground. And do you remember those old Anison commercials that would show the picture of the pill on the forehead and be like, pain reliever? Yeah, yeah. I used to carry it around and push it on my forehead and call it my penal lever, and nobody knew what the fuck I was talking about oh, until man. I started getting having diarrhea, and then they started playing in a box full of lead. Yeah, lead paint. It was awful. <laughs> Don't do that to people. Don't. <laughs> it was bad. Oh but I'm okay. Gosh. Clearly, I didn't. It, it no, didn't, I'm, I'm okay. You're. you're I'm yes, alright. My survivor. my IQ survived that. Yep. Yep. But anyway, these beads are fucking awesome, and they're kind of they like are. the traditional paper beads, but. I mean, you take one long strip. I used about a half inch. She was using five eighths inch on the video, but I like the size of the half inch ones better. So you would cut two long strips of paper. And then I just use decorative paper, like for scrapbooking and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then one piece you cut diagonally. So you have a long, weird, oblique triangle. So you take the f- flat piece and you roll it up. On I, I just used the same chopstick I used for our other beads uh-huh. and you glue the end and you make sure the insides of these beads I used um now I'm gonna totally brain fart what they're called eyelets eyelets yeah for sewing like any yeah, like an eyelet that you would finished and cool yeah so you can get bead cores she used bead cores in the video I'm not gonna spend that kind of money because I don't use those that often so you want to make sure that your eyelet fits in the hole before you glue the end down And then you glue the wide end of the triangle to the edge, and then you just wrap it, and you have to make sure it's really centered. 
you wrap it and it kind of builds up the bead and kind of gives it that little rounded shape to it yeah. and glue the end down. And then I used uh, ultra thick embossing enamel. Which is cool. And I've never used it before, but now I want to. I'm going to give the you, results remind me to amazing. give you some of mine. Because I have it's two really bottles cool. of it. So I'll give you the rest of my other bottle. Yeah, you just roll it on your embossing ink pad. And then, because embossing ink's a little bit stickier than regular ink, and it, it's what makes the enamel crystals stick to it. Okay. And then you hit it with the heat gun and melt it, and it gives it this really cool glassy look. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're and they're really surprisingly cool. light beads, yeah. too. Like you, they look like they, they would look be like heavy. Glass, yeah, and then you pick them up, and you're like, oh. I know. Wear these all day. I, I got actually carried away with these. Like, I kept texting oh. pictures to Lonnie going, oh, my God, look at these beads. Well, because they're cool. I get it. They're I, cool and yeah. they're fun. So I made some for um, my son's girlfriend had a birthday this last weekend. So I made her a bracelet out Which of them. Which was really pretty. I like the I colors text, you chose. I think I put that on Pinterest. Or no, on, on Instagram last oh, okay. night, maybe. I don't know what I did. I know I put it somewhere. Maybe on the Twitter. <laughs> Who knows? See, but there's just too many. There are. <laughs> I made a bracelet for her out of that, and then I made one for my mother-in-law, which by the time this podcast airs, I will have given it to her, because I'm going to give it to her this weekend when we go camping. It's cute. But it's really cute. It's right here, and it sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> if you were wearing it, it would sound like this. Oh my god, Lonnie, you're killing me. <laughs> you're Sorry, I like, sometimes mm -hmm. I like these kinds of sounds. Don't like get that. all, like, crazy and blissed out on me. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> what is that called again? What? The thing that people, when they get all, like, what is it called? You just said it earlier. Really? Spaced out? No! <laughs> the thing when people get the sounds and they get all, like, rrr, rrr. Oh, is it ASMR? Something like that. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh, it's initials that I can't remember the order they go in. <laughs> the first time I heard about that was on a podcast I used to listen to, um, what was it called? You had to be there or something like that. What was it? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it was awesome. They were funny girls, and they don't do their podcasts anymore. Aww. Uh, it was Sarah Schaefer and Nikki Glaser. Oh, fun. What the fuck was their podcast called? I think it was... I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, these beads turned out really great. They're really, really quick. Good. They're really easy. And they're super fun. Yeah, and they, they are. Cool. And I actually found Chain at... Joanne's. Oh, the chain is awesome. That looks a lot like the Pandora chain. It's like a big tube. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. It's neat looking chain. So when the bead rubs on it, no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I, tell, I can it have a fucking Joanne's sound. rant right now. But I'll save that for our episode on watercolor stuff we're gonna do later. <laughs> and they're fabulous customer service. And they're fucking black there. <laughs> and then we did, of course, we couldn't do a bead making episode without doing polymer clay beads. Yes. Like Fimo clay or Sculpey. I always use Sculpey because I think Sculpey's a little bit softer than Fimo clay. Yeah, I found that too. Because you know what I did one time? My husband walked in my uh, my studio and I was using Fimo clay for something and to make it soft because it's so fucking hard and then my hands hurt. I hide it under my, like I set it under my boobs for a while. Nice. <laughs> to warm it up yeah. and soften it. And he came in as I was pulling a break of Fimo out from under my <laughs> boob and he's like, do I even want to know what's happening to me? I'm softening clay. Shut up. Uh, making it with love. That's what I, she's doing. I was. <laughs> with boob love. These are really cute, Katie. She made a lot of them. Well, I make little swirly beads out of my yeah. leftover stuff, but I have not done cane work on beads since before I had a baby. So wow. it's been a long fucking time. <laughs> That's actually why I thought of a bead making episode, because I used to do it in the summertime. That was like a summertime activity for me for some reason. Uh -huh. Me and my little hippie girlfriends, we were all 90s hippies, and we'd lay in the grass, and we would make Wearing your sundress, and... you need an accessory for it. Exactly. And we used to make all the crazy, like... Fucking hemp twine jewelry with the female clay beads and... Yeah, that was fun. All that stuff. I did do some cane work, though. And cane work is when you make the... You make a tube of design. It's like a long tube of bead. And actually, the reason that it's called cane work is that you're using canes of clay. And okay. putting them together into one big, long cane. The flat beads that I made are just sliced... I made flowers and I made some swirls. I did a rainbow one that didn't turn out well because it was too fucking hot in here and my clay got too sticky and it got all mushy. Oh, like man. seriously, Portland is look, it's if you ridiculous. guys listened last year, anyone who's listened to our summer episodes from last year knows that I am a big whiny bitch. 
about the summer. I fucking well, hate it. Like I want it to be 10. done. It's yeah. not extra early. We're fucking Oregonians. We've already had nine days over 90 in June, which is a record. Yeah. We're not made for this shit. No. We're absolutely, we're too fucking delicate. Yes. Especially because I grew up the on the coast. moss in my armpits is dying. Yes, right. <laughs> Lonnie's fucking armpit moss is dying. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> fucking Mother Nature. The fuck? <laughs> Funny, you and I need to talk about personal hygiene. This, <laughs> this is what. <laughs> oh no, you made me swear now. <laughs> I bet that's gonna sound good with the new setup. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Air. This is what polymer beads sound like. <laughs> normal size cane of like whatever you whatever your design is and then when you roll it out and stretch it it doesn't ruin the design yeah. it makes the design smaller so then you cut it up and you like put a bunch of them on like I made around some round beads with the little flowers all over them yeah and then I made some tube shaped beads with little swirls all over them that's, I was wondering how you did this with the multiple flowers. You cut mm-hmm. the cane up and you then you squish them together. Little, yeah. Oh my and gosh. then I just squished them over it. And I really <clears throat> like these swirly ones. They're you can super have them. psychedelic. Would you like my psychedelic swirly beads? Sure. Dude, and then I cooked them oh, in I my really toaster like them. oven on my desk. Can I just tell you it did not help the temperature in here? No, I'm imagining it didn't. Oh my I gosh. I had to leave. It was like, <laughs> fuck you guys. Except for I couldn't leave because I was still working on our newsletter for the June oh. newsletter and I wanted to get it out so I sat up here going why Did you like, <laughs> I should have waited till the morning when it was not so hot up here yeah to cook them but yeah the beads These turned out really cool. fucking awesome they did and you can make stuff with them yeah also people this is a really cool I think personally that this is a really fun activity to do with kids in the summertime yeah like I don't have a kid at home anymore but I was trying to get Carla into it, and then she took the Paula Berkeley and made herself a little cat. I think that's she, cute. Yeah, she just, I was like, or oh, you can do that. You don't have to make beads. <laughs> oh, I just had a bead shoot out of my hand. I don't know where it went. Well, we have a rug bead. Don't look under the table, Lonnie. I don't have underpants on. Oh, that's on right. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's too high for underpants. <laughs> God. My cha cha needs to breathe. God damn it. <laughs> Mine is trapped under layers. It's I terrible. know. You have pants on. You should take your pants off. Record. <laughs> it's hot. And I feel guilty. Although Lonnie brought me the most badass fan. Yay. I love that fan so hard. Oh, wait. Make it. It stopped doing the high. The, wait, I'll fix it. Wait. Yeah. There. Uh, it stops doing things sometimes, and I don't understand why. Can I make it twirl? No, That'd make it just blow on us. Okay. Because then if it twirls, then it goes away, and then you're like, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's true. <laughs> well, you have to follow it and shit. Like this one? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. What was your favorite beads that we made, Bonnie? Wait, talk about your polymer clay experience. What did you guys do? Well, like, I Carla just, made the kitty. Yeah, I found a cute little picture of how making a kitty bead, and it's just like a kitty head shape. It's pretty silly. It's kind of silly. It looks like a little, I don't know, just cute, claymation oh, kitty. It's a kitty. And then Kitties are we did just paper ones with um, rolling them up similar to the. Oh, yeah, you did the other paper beads too. Yeah, just with scrapbook paper and a skewer and rolled them up on there. And then I just used Mod, Mod Podge to cover mm-hmm. them and gloss them up. 
And you're going to send me pictures of those so I yeah. can post them with this episode. Yes. And they turn out cool. Yeah. And those are just the ones that they end up like long. Yeah, kind of a long tube so built up in the those, middle. So for those, you use two long triangles, right? These, I just did one long triangle okay. strip. Um, but you could do layers. You could start with just a straight strip, and like similar to these, and then do another mm -hmm. diagonal one on top of it. Um, but yeah, I just used a long diagonal. That's awesome. Yeah, they're, they turn out pretty cool. There's black and white beads. Pretty. She sent me pictures of them. <laughs> they're nifty. Yeah. So I'm like, well, gosh, you can make beads out of anything. You can. And it was quick and easy, too. What was your favorite? Mm. What were your favorites to do? That's tough. I... These actually, these soda pop ones, the yeah, pop bottle you know, ones, because funny. they surprised me. With they did how surprise they me out. too. I was like, "What? This is gonna be dumb." These yeah, are gonna be like, and they seemed really like when we first started doing them, they seemed kind of juvenile. Like, like it would yeah. be cute for kids to do. Yeah, but so I wouldn't. But make no, them look cool, no, like glass beads. Yeah. Well, and after you left, like when I was cleaning up, we we still had a few strips of it left, so I kind of experimented a little bit with them uh-huh and that's when i discovered that i liked the narrower ones making the narrow the strips narrower and i also liked just doing i didn't not coloring the whole strip but making designs on it mm -hmm. so there's some clear showing through yeah and, and actually, it makes it look glassy i just thought i wonder if do cutting these in that diagonal and having it the thin strip be the end and heating oh, yeah. them would make I it know, might. I want to try that. Yeah. See what that turns out like. Experiment with them. But yeah. yeah, screw around with it, you guys. There's, it, they, it, they turn out really neat. Just, I'm, I gotta say, the paper beads that I did were my favorite. Yeah, these. Yeah. With I got the, totally carried away. With, no, they're cool. Like they're I spent really an entire cool. day just making those, and that's, but it was so fucking hot. I was just like, I'm just gonna make beads and not move. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and they turned out really beautiful. I can see why. Once you see how cool they look, then you want to keep making more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like, I could make a bracelet for this person, and I could make this for that person. Yeah. I think the beads turned out rad, you guys, and I totally think that you should make some beads. Yes, me too. There this we found. Kind of make camouflage. some beads and send some pictures of, of your beads to yeah. us. Yeah. Because that's another thing. In our uh, newsletter, we have an inspired listener section now. And Keely Rodman got to be the first one ever because she sent us a cool picture of something yeah, that she thanks, did. Keely. And uh, you guys should take a picture of anything that you've done that was inspired by the show. And you go like, oh, I'm going to make that. Take us a pic. Take a picture and mail it to us and tell us what you did. Yeah. And we'll put a little blurb about you with the picture of what you did in our news monthly newsletter. Yeah. Because it's rad. It is rad. And we like you guys. We want to see what you do. Yep. So, yeah, I guess... I guess that's it about making beads. I think we're done. Cool. If you want to go see pictures of all the beads that we made and stuff and see our little tutorials that we did, uh, we couldn't do video tutorials because I still, like, we're still having some technology issues with that. <laughs> but uh, we have some picture tutorials of the beads, and if you just want to look at the pretty beads, because they're all pretty. Who doesn't want to look at pretty beads? I you know. got to hear the pretty beads. Yeah, I mean, hey. Come on, you want to see them. Taking this podcast uh, to another dimension. You are. Go look at our blog. Oh, there. No, uh, so she's making bead shakes for you again. <laughs> Go to our, our website. It's twoartsygals.com. Go check it out. We'll have pictures for this episode. Also from there, you can link to all of our social media accounts, so you can follow us on the Twitter. Dude, come on, seriously. I want to tweet to more than one person. I feel sad inside <laughs> that I'm tweeting to a single person. Twitter, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's making a whole me sad. Different world to me I'm that really I don't putting know. out some effort to try to embrace the tweetiness of the world. <laughs> I am. I'm getting better at my hashtags, too. Oh, good. Because I always forget hashtags. Yeah. They can help you link up to they lots totally of things. They totally can. So I'm always hashtagging to Artsy Girls podcasts and the stuff that we do now. I'm trying to remember. So, nice. But yeah. You can follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, on the Facebooks, and remember, we're doing a giveaway when we reach 200. And now that I see it in my head, and we've got some same stuff to do. Oh my gosh! Fuck it. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I know. I see so, it. I see Lonnie it. is so fucking excited right now. I it's am. not even funny. <laughs> and yeah, follow us there. And on Pinterest, we will have a Pinterest board up for this episode. I will link it on our website, and you can also just go. All of our Pinterest boards are listed by episode number with the most recent at the top of the list. And I'm still working on going back and putting stuff in for all of our old episodes. I just do it as I, if I am bored and I have time, I just kind of find stuff for each folder. But 
I'm going to make Lonnie help me with that because it is a long process. Poor Lonnie, when I made all of those, got like a bazillion invites yeah. to the things. So yes, anyway. Cool. Yeah. Felt all special and popular and stuff. Like I'm I getting know. so many yeah. notifications. Yeah. Um, so next week, Lonnie and I are going to be back to talk about brown paper bags and all the brown shit you can do. Brown, brown. brown chick of brown, brown. Did you hear that <laughs> shit? Only here. <laughs> Only here. And the two are to gals. Dude, didn't we get pornographic last week? Probably. We did. You were like, I feel like there should be dirty music playing. The music playing. Because I was talking about slits and times. Yeah. That's right. I mean, Email us uh, at tourtogals at gmail.com. Go to our website, tourtogals.com, and you can call us at 503-395-7190. Nobody's calling us. Aww. Call us and leave some messages. We'll play your voice. Yeah. In our I like fucking voices. episode. Yes. I do too. It'll be great. Yes. All right. So, until next week, make some cool shit, yo. Do it now.